The subject of this video is going to be brakes, more specifically, uh, lack of maintenance on the brakes. <laughs> I've been running into so many brake problems over the last two months in my shop that I finally decided I got to figure out a way to communicate the need to do a regular service on the brake system and provide some little tools and applicators and grease and things to help you do it. It's not going to be real expensive, but this is really important. You know, if you watch my other videos on brake systems, I keep harping about a brake fluid flush every two years. And what I'm beginning to realize uh, because of everything I've been dealing with the last couple months is just a flush is not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. These brake systems need more attention every two years than just pouring some new fluid in. And now, of course, I provide everything on my website to help you do these regular brake fluid flushes including a pressure bleeder, a capture tank, brake fluid, instructions, videos, everything. You can do this yourself. But the more I mess around with these older cars, particularly ones that are 20 years and older, I'm beginning to realize that even though flushing the brake fluid every two years is really important for both safety and for the health of your brake system, there's more that needs to be done. And so is the case with this wagon here. I wasn't even planning to work on the brakes. I was just under here working on the SLS suspension and started looking at the brakes and look, oh, I can tell the pads have been dragging because of the wear on the rotor. And I'm looking in here and it's all gummed up and rusty where the pads ride in those grooves on the calipers. The pins are rusty, the spring clip is rusty. So what I've done here is I've got everything right here on this little cart. This is going to be called my brake pad and caliper service kit. And I'm going to recommend that you do this service every two years when you do the flush. Just do it every two years, same time you do the flush. It'll allow you to inspect everything carefully because to do this service, you're going to have to remove the pads. And what you do is you remove the pads and you test each piston, each caliper while the pads are off. And this is the heart and soul of my new kit. This modified bar and this plate that I've come up with to help you move those pistons back and forth safely without damaging them and also to be able to exercise those pistons. I go over that more in a couple other videos I have, but I'm learning more and more that every two years when the pads come out, the pistons should be exercised a little bit. Because over time, particularly on cars that don't get driven a lot, these pistons in here, <laughs> they start to stick. They start to, you know, move slowly. Actually, on this caliper right here, I just removed the pads, went through the exercise procedure, cleaned everything because I provide in the kit a bunch of cleaning tools. I provide an extractor so you can get the excess brake fluid out of the reservoir because anytime, I'm going to warn you, anytime you're messing around with the pistons and your calipers, you need to make sure that you take some of the brake fluid out of the reservoir in the engine compartment. You're going to be pushing that brake fluid out and it's going to get all over your engine compartment. So that's very important. And of course, I provide this high quality ceramic brake pad grease, which I think is the best brake pad grease in the world right here. And you know, after I exercised the pistons a couple times, greased everything up. I can actually just push the piston in with my hand. You know, when I started, I had to use some big pliers to get it to move. And then, of course, by exercising it with these tools, you're going to need, of course, a helper in the car. And what I've done is I've done a complete video. It's a lengthy video on how to use this kit and how to go through the exercise procedure. And then, of course, in detail, I go over how to properly lubricate the pads, the pins, and the clip when you go to reinstall everything back into the caliper. This one's back in. Look at that. It's no longer dragging. When I first started on this, I was sitting here going like this, you know. So <laughs> I'm on the war path for brake neglect, okay? Because brakes are really a big safety issue. It's safety number one, but number two, two of the cars that I've worked on in the last couple of months have had to have expensive repair because of the lack of what I'm going to call the two-year brake service. One had to have new calipers. In another car, all the rotors were totally shot because the pads had been dragging on them while the car was being driven up its merrily way down the freeway. So if you want to prolong 
the life of the rotor, if you want to prolong the life of the calipers, if you want to have very smooth and very nice feeling brakes and you want to have safe brakes, then <laughs> I'm going to recommend that you do this service every two years. So even if you don't want to buy my kit, you need to do this service. Now this video that I've done on the procedure will be available on my website as an on-demand video. If you just want to look at the video without buying the kit, you know, I would highly recommend you do it because I'll take you through this procedure and you'll get to see the why, the what, the how of what I call the two-year break service. And of course, if you buy the kit, then the video will be included along with it without any extra charge. And of course, I even supply a pair of my Jolly Green Giant Gloves. <laughs> That's what I call these. But when you're doing brake work, there's a couple things I want to mention. I'm going to stress this. Safety. Breathing brake dust. The whole procedure, I'll show you how to wash the brakes down, how to use solutions to keep the dust down, and of course, using gloves. You want to wear gloves. Anytime you're working around brake fluid, uh, brake pad grease, carb or brake cleaner, whatever you use to clean this caliper once you get the pads out, you know, gloves are very important. And I would highly recommend you wear a dust mask because even if you wash this brake system all down before you pull the pads out, there's still a little dust remains. So what I recommend in my video is that you always work on the brake caliper, the pistons with them wet whether you use a brake cleaner, whether you use something like Purple Power or just hot soapy water, you know, keep the area wet while you're working on it so you're not breathing all that dangerous brake dust and dust coming up, fine dust from rust that develops on these calipers. What's the moral of the story? Do your two-year brake service. You'll have very nice feeling brakes and you're going to save a lot of money.